back to Linda's Pantry. So today I'm going to bring you along for another puppy update. They're five weeks old and oh, they're just absolutely adorable. They just get cuter by the minute. And I just wanted to show you that we put the puppies out in the garage. We've got a pen that Michael built for, actually built it for Sage when she came home to us. And then we put their whelping box in there and I'll tell you all about how we've got their surroundings. So they've got plenty of room and uh, they've got, it's heated and it's absolutely fabulous. Their first night out there, they did excellent. Never heard a peep out of them. So that being said, let's go see what the puppies are doing and be sure and check the links that I've uh, left for you in the description box below. And if you like puppies, everybody give me a thumbs up and leave a comment. Let me know what you think and if you've ever had puppies because Man, they're just awesome. It's so much fun. Okay. I have the puppies in their new area. Here, ow, in the garage. And they are so full of it. It's crazy. <laughs> and their teeth are like little needles. Um, but they're much happier. We have the box in here with the heat lamp. And then, and I'll show you, I have a heater here in front. So if they come out and it's cold, which it has not been cold, um, and our garage is fully insulated. It never freezes in here, so we can pretty easily regulate the temperature. I got one chewing on my boot. No. So, <laughs> I guess. Anyway, <laughs> they're way happier and they didn't wake us up two or three times in the middle of the night screaming. And um, now they just scream and holler when you come out here. But that's because they want to be with you. Because right now they're nice and quiet. They're just having a good time, huh? Poor baby girl. Anyway, let me get up and show you what they've got here. They've got a nice big eight by eight foot area and their whelping box is inside. So they've stopped even trying to go potty in there. They can get in and out really easy. First time was a little scary. I've got my shirt, let go. Okay, so let's, let's see what they got. Cause they're, so, they're oh, chewing me out. Ah. Come back, he says. Um, this is their area, so we've got it. an 8x8 eight eight foot fenced area for them here that uh, Michael built when Sage was a puppy. And I'm going to come back in. Got their water over there, and mainly this section over here is where they've been going poo poo, but they piddle wherever they see fit. And um, <laughs> they just are so cute. There's our little girl playing with a blanket. And uh, the first couple times coming in and out of the box, they were a little scared even though they had done it. But uh, So we've got the heat lamp as a heat source at night. In fact, I'm getting ready to turn it off because it's plenty warm in here. It's just as warm in here as it is in the house. And then they're on dry food now. They didn't even want to eat any of the mushy stuff this morning. So boy, once you give it to them, that's all they need. And I still sprinkle the milk replacer over it because it's really sweet and it gives them extra fat and nutrients that they need. And that's our Eden Pure heater. That, um, you can keep that on a real low setting and it will heat this area just fine. At least they have a warm spot here in the, the box and there, so. And then I usually close this lid down for them. And as soon as they can wear themselves out a little bit, I am going to, like that, keeps the heat in a little bit better. Um, I'm going to clip their toenails, but I'm going to wait till they wear out a little because they're full of it. Oh, yeah, and you want to give them drinking water at this point um, so they have water whenever they need it. And pretty easy to clean up. Now I only have to clean it up. About two, well, I guess three times a day, because I'll clean it again tonight. I cleaned it first thing this morning, and now it's midday, and then I'll clean it again tonight. But worst case scenario is I had to be at work all day. They'd be just fine. So, so you can see how full of it they are. They're just tearing each other up, having a great time. <laughs> all right, so I don't know what Gibbs is after. Who's... Who's got my boot? Who's got my boot? That's a little girl. Hi, Dotsy Dot. Hi. She said that piece of leather tastes good. So, anyway. All right, guys. 
So come back for the next uh, puppy update because we're going to have a new addition to our puppies because we purchased an older little puppy female for Strut's uh, future future betrothed. Oh my goodness. Kill them. My gosh. Biting each other so hard. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, guys. That's our puppy update. Can't wait to see you next time. Remember, go down in the About section below and check out all the links. And if you love puppies, give me a thumbs up because these puppies are adorable. Look at them drinking their water. Good doggies.